F1 visa interviews for fall 2021 have been on the shorter side, but this is not always the case. In this video, I have with me Cyril, whose interview was really long. It lasted for four full minutes, but he got his visa approved. So this experience will give you an idea of how you can handle long visa interviews. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find tons of useful videos on the US visa process, especially on the F1 visa process. We have an entire playlist, so make sure that you check it out. Now, long interviews can be really nerve wracking, especially when everyone around you is getting their visa approved in what seems like just seconds. But remember that long interviews does not necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. It just means that the visa officer would like to know more details about your profile or probably more details about the program that you're going for. And the key to cracking long visa interviews is to stay consistent in your answers because a lot of times what happens is that the same questions tends to get repeated. So maintaining consistency in your ideas, in your answers is extremely important. And of course, you need to stay calm, you need to stay collected and answer everything confidently. And this is exactly what Cyril did. Now, before we jump into Cyril's experience, let's take a quick look at his profile. Education, he has done BTEC and MTech. Work experience, seven years in banking sector in general banking and operations. Admit from University of North Texas, and the program is Management Science and Quant Methods. And this is his experience. Hi. Hi, good morning. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm literally out of the world, actually. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Good, good. Yeah. Okay. And this is the second time, right? The visa interview? No, this is the third time. Third time. Okay. When was the yeah. first two times? Uh, in 2019, July. Exactly oh. two years before. Two years before. Okay. At which embassy did you go? Uh, Chennai. Chennai embassy. All right. Yes. So, how was the interview experience? What did they ask you? I feel that this is the longest interview this year, I guess. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Because uh, she has interviewed me for over four and a half minutes. She wow. asked okay. me for over 17 to 20 questions, okay. in which almost three to four questions were repeated and cross questioned. Actually, uh, she started off with the program. Okay. Why this particular program? Hmm. And I have explained with all the electives that are present in the course, which made me to opt this because those are in the line of my work experience. Hmm. And the immediate next question is, why you UND? Hmm. And then I again reiterated the same answer because I am not of the university. When I was uh, just checking about the programs, which refers to my work experience, this particular course has caught my attention. And this particular course is being offered in so and so universities. Mm -hmm. And in which I have opted two, three universities, what I have applied to. Okay. So I am not after the university exactly, I'm after the course. <clears throat> then uh, why didn't you opt NJIT and why did you get into this UND? Then I have clearly told that uh, I have applied to NJIT, but my admission is still awaiting. And huh. these two universities are one of the top two picks. So I have uh, applied visa for the UND. Then she said, that is the course is not being uh, opted in that university, offered in that university. Then I told exactly the same course is being offered. But as hmm. I said, uh, I'm uh, just waiting for the uh, I-20. Okay. Then again, she asked me, what are the electives that are present and how those electives are useful uh, to your future career? Hmm. I told actually having uh, whatever the points that you have told, I have <laughs> just writ literally written each and everything. Okay. I haven't even modified a single line of it. Okay. I have seen uh, our videos like thrice to four times and even bit by bit of the word, I haven't even modified a word. Okay. I just uh, I have just written whatever the thing you have said into my notes and I have just gone through it and I understood it and just reiterated in the interview. That's it. 
Okay. Nothing from my part has been done. The only thing that has this been done is. This is your part only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not my idea actually. Uh, actually, my ideas were different when uh, conversed with you for the first time. Then they were changed by you. So I have followed this. So the credit and uh, the interest and the effort, <laughs> everything goes to you. So uh, I cannot uh, steal it. That's from you. my job. Like, that's what yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So and after that, uh, she asked me why masters now. That was the first thing actually we have prepared, and you said that this might be the core question for the interview. So mm-hmm. we prepared a little bit more, especially for this question. Mm-hmm. So I have said everything regarding it, what we have discussed, and immediately after that, my previous rejections came into the picture. Mm-hmm. She asked me, "Why are you not going to Fitchburg State University now? Mm-hmm. Because you applied twice on the same university." Yeah. Why are you not going to that university? Mm. Then I again said that actually I am not after the university. Mm. I am after the course. Back then I was working in IT department, mm. and I felt that computer science was the only future. Mm. But after having worked for two years again, I realized mm. that the core of the banking is credit and risk. and yeah. i need to concentrate on my career path but not on the future that is being offered that is only computer science mm. then she again asked why not cs again mm. because oh previously okay. i applied for computer science mm. previous question was why not fitchburg university and the immediate question followed is why not cs mm. so the i told her that but answer is the same so again mm. I, i told the same answer Essentially, they check your consistency, right? Yes, the same yes. thing is being asked in different ways to see whether you will say something else. Yes, exactly. Uh, so after that, uh, she was asking. Uh, she asked about my funding. Hmm. That's the only question which was not repeated in the entire interview. Okay. She asked only once, and whatever the thing you have told, like first we have to say about the major funding portion. so which was a bank loan i have said it and then the family pay, uh, savings and mm. then the immobile assets worth of immobile assets that's it those are the three sentences that i told and she she was okay with it mm. and then she has come to what are your future plans mm. i told then how come this masters course will mm. be useful for your future in 5 to 6 years because you already have a 6 years of experience then mm. where are you going to see yourself in the next 5 years mm. when i was answering that she was like she was like staring at me because the next question she asked this actually i made a point in DC, ds 160 that i was heading the operations what i was doing i was just written into it then she again just picked it actually you are now the head of the operations which is a cool job and a good job and a good position as well then why are you risking it for credit and risk now mm-hmm. then i said like uh, actually uh, the core of banking is credit and risk but not the general operations general mm-hmm. operations can be done in any way by anyone even an entry level officer can do it mm-hmm. but only an experienced officer and the officer who has gathered experience in these particular fields and areas can deal with core banking hmm. so that's what i have told and she was hmm. like okay it was okay then she again asked from how many years have you been dealing with these departments <laughs> so i again told that from the last rejection in all these two years i have gathered experience only in the non performing yes. assets which is one integral part of credit so that's i've been all uh, doing all these years so this has got my attention again yeah. so i was into this and i changed my mind in such a way that i should not go back to computer science feeling that that's the only future that i have <laughs> so she was like oh, okay then okay. then she has come why only usa so she has that also okay she has that also but she's the full worth of your preparation has been yes exactly <laughs> the best thing that has happened is she did not interrupt me at any point of time in the interview that's good she listened to me patiently like not even a single second of interruption has been done 
Okay, that's nice. So, yeah. So, why USA again? We answered because of the global exposure mm. and the diversified set of people. And mm. uh, even though there are few universities which offer my course in India, but they are at the inception stage. Mm. Whereas research is being carried out in the university, and mm. that's the reason that I'm uh, going to US. and this research which help will help me in my future learning and experience i have connected like why unt and why us both and i have told both. Him, told her, yes. yeah yeah both okay. and then uh, there arises the last question what are your future plans will you really come back to india hmm. and all the only future plan that i have got is to head credit and risk department which is my utmost area of interest Mm-hmm. and my family is back home and all my immovable properties and assets worth rupees 2 to 3 crores are present back home so mm-hmm. i need to take care of them because my family is uh, my fa- my parents are a bit old so mm-hmm. uh, i'll come back to india for sure and apart from this the major por- portion is i need to head credit and risk which is why i am mm-hmm. risking my job now and going for the program it's mm-hmm. just because of the program that has motivated me to do so so it's my professional and personal reasons both yes others. yes exactly okay. exactly actually the professional reason was the major part yeah because exactly. i have stressed only two to three points on the personal uh, yeah. like because which uh, is what uh, we prepare and also in the videos that's what i explained right that yes, you are yes, a student yes. so the core has to be professional yeah personal is a supporting factor You yes. cannot come back for personal reasons. Yes, sir. Then there was a 20-second long pause in which you must be like, uh, I praying to like, God. <laughs> literally, I was praying to God, and those 20 seconds felt like 20 hours. Then after 20-second long pause, uh, she turned at me. Then she told that your visa is approved. Then oh my God. This was the final word that I wanted to hear. Okay. So Great. that was done and dusted, and immediately after listening those words, I was not in senses. So she was handling, uh, she was handing me back my I twenty. I was yeah. like, okay, Jala, I can take a printout of this again. <laughs> that's not a big issue anyway. I've gathered it, oh. and I've just ran away. That's it. Okay. But okay. I just wanted to thank you in person because the efforts. and the time that you have taken uh, to my profile especially because of the two rejections and uh, what has got my attention from you is you were just literally writing everything what i was saying yeah when you mocked me uh, uh, you were just writing what are the answers that i was saying hmm. basically most of the people doesn't do it Uh, they just say about what they wanted to say and what they wanted the students to do that's what uh, makes you different from others because you will try to understand what actually student is going to say and what is his interest and what is his future plans and yeah. that made me uh, to feel free with you because you have understand clearly what my intentions are and okay. the effort time and interest was all paid so the reason the motivation to do this is because you know people tend to give very generic answers which everyone says the same thing you know theory practical blah blah, blah. so the point of going in depth of everyone's profile is to bring out unique points okay bye sir take care thank you bye. so much thank you all bye bye, bye bye thank you bye. so much If you would like my help in preparing for your F1 visa interview, feel free to get in touch with me. You can book a one-to-one consultation session with me. This will help you in structuring your answers, preparing your funding plan, and working on your presentation and confidence. And of course, before your interview, you can also take a mock interview with me. This will be really, really similar to the actual visa interview. Uh, it will be made specific to your profile, to the embassy uh, where you're giving the interview, and this will thoroughly prepare you. before the main day so the link for booking the consultation session as well as the mock interview is in the description box below do check it out i also have an f1 prep course and this course has 11 video modules covering all the important aspects of the visa interview and this is a course uh, using which you can prepare at your own time and pace so 
uh, the link for the prep course is also in the description box that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i really hope that this interview experience helps you stay tuned i have more videos coming up so make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon signing off for now i'll see you in the next one bye